that there is one nation in Asia that is considered as the unnecessary bully, it is China. China is confrontational with almost all its neighbors. Beijing's strategy is simple. Lay claim to territory based on a one-sided history and then show aggression with its military to intimidate the other. This has been seen time and time again. The most recent was against Philippines in South China Sea. But one of the reasons that Beijing gets away with this behavior is because China is an economic and military giant. China constantly uses ships and patrol boats to harass other nations. Taiwan is always under the threat of Chinese invasion. And China even intimidates Western navies that pass through the region. Most recently, Chinese aircraft violated the South Korea defense zone, drawing a swift scramble from fighter jets of South Korea and Japan. Japan has begun preparing for what it calls an island invasion. China's aggressive behavior towards Taiwan has raised alarm bells in Japan throughout the month of November. Japan held extensive drills on its westernmost island. The Yonaguni Islands are just over 100 kilometers east of Taiwan. The Yonaguni Island is also just over 150 kilometers south of Senkaku Islands. These Senkaku Islands are uninhabited but are disputed territory between Japan and China. And Tokyo is worried that if China invades Taiwan, then Yonaguni and Senkaku Islands will be under threat. So Japan is going all out to safeguard its western islands. For almost three weeks, Japan held large-scale military drills on its western islands. They called it an exercise to repel invaders with a specific focus on China. There is a significant increase in military activity, particularly by China and Russia, in the East China Sea, South China Sea and Western Pacific. When we consider these factors, we can recognize that the national security environment around Japan is becoming much harsher. Japanese troops conducted beach assault drills Hundreds of amphibious tanks rolled onto the islands. Soldiers created fortified positions on the islands. They were simulating defense against a Chinese invasion. These were supported with airborne and air superiority drills. The soldiers also enacted emergency response and first aid procedures. The training we are undertaking here is in initial defense operations, joint airborne and amphibious operations, as well as distributed airborne operations, and even treatment of the wounded. 
it wasn't just the military that was preparing for war. The civilian authorities also undertook drills alongside the army. Japanese officials feel that if China invades Taiwan and a war breaks out, thousands of Taiwanese will flee their country and seek refuge in Japan. And the closest destination for the fleeing Taiwanese would be the Yonaguni Island. Today's exercise was about natural disaster preparedness, but it also gives people something to think about that may come in useful later in a Taiwan emergency. Even local Japanese feel that China cannot be trusted and an invasion of Taiwan cannot be predicted. You understand living on this island that when there's a cry for help from Taiwan, you can hear it. I can hear the cries for Japan to help them. I'm worried about what could happen. It's a situation that we cannot predict. For Japan, China is a threat, and they're preparing for it. Building on their military readiness, Tokyo has embarked on a plan to form alliances to counter China. The biggest is Quad, a grouping with India, Australia and the America. Japan is also strengthening its relations with South Korea with help from the US. The Trilateral Alliance has vowed to increase maritime cooperation. And together, we've deepened collaboration among our Coast Guards, a step that will lead to more coordinated capacity building efforts with more partners across the Indo-Pacific. Because that's really what this trilateral relationship is all about, building a more free, more open, more prosperous, and more secure Indo-Pacific. Japan also hosted all ASEAN nations in Tokyo. And what was the purpose? To increase cooperation and bolster ties with nations like Vietnam, the Philippines and Indonesia, all of whom are also constantly bullied by China. Japan is working quietly to prepare for the Chinese threat. It is slowly focusing on its military posturing and strengthening anti-China alliances at the same time. The intent is clear. Japan will shed its cloak of pacifism and not let China be the bully.